So before starting the server, I'll just increase this uh, expiration time so that it won't expire within 30 seconds. For that, I'll go to the main class and start the server. Meanwhile, I'll also open the login page of the application. So now we are onto the login page of the application. Let's try to open the console as well. Entering the credentials of the user. On submitting, I'm able to log in successfully. If you go and see to the application tab, there are no cookies right now saved, which is a one of the secured approach that we are going to follow inside our application. And let's try to go and see inside the network tab for user operation. You can see here in the response, I have received an header with the name authorization and it's a JWT token. So we can try taking this token and paste in the JWT website to understand what are the values that we passed. I'm pasting here. As you can see the beauty, it got decoded. Our header has metadata that about the algorithm that we have followed. And the body has all the values that we sent. Issuer is the one who issued the token and subject of the token and what are the logged in username detail and his roles and authorities associated and issued at what is the issued at you can see I have issued at on this date and expiring is going to after three days. So now I'll try to tamper this value on the UI by putting a breakpoint in the interceptor. So let's try to keep a breakpoint here and making an request to one of the operation and you can see this is my JWT token value. I'm going to just remove one character in the middle and release the breakpoint. You can see I got an error 500 because there is an exception happen while validating this token on the backend. Due to that error, I throwed an exception and there is no response came to the user. So this way we can protect our application using JWT tokens. Now let's try to understand how the expiration of the token will be handled by the Spring Security Framework in the next video. Thank you and bye.